Hello and welcome to another edition of the Forex Technical Market Update for the 1st of July 2015. Already half of the year has gone so quickly. Uh, it, it seems just like yesterday we were ushering the new year in and now we're already halfway through the year. I hope I hope the first half of the year has been profitable for you and has been good. And if it hasn't been good, then I hope it will turn around and you will start to see profitability in your life and in the Forex market. Okay, so what has happened in the euro? Let's just do a review of since the beginning of the year. Uh, 2015 started and uh, the market was in a strong downtrend. This is 2015 here. Market was at one... Uh, just uh, let's call it 120 and it fell from 120 to 105 and in and it bottomed in march and ever since march to march the euro has just been consolidating the market is now testing this inner trend line that we spoke about yesterday as you can see clearly the market is testing this inner trend line okay if this market is is if this trend line is broken we could see a retest of this 108 low that was made that was made in mid may 108 low and if that is ultimately broken we could challenge the all-time low in the euro versus the us dollar that was made on the year the us dollar is is doing very well across different currency pairs this morning uh, we see that it's pulling back against the British pound, ver British pound versus US dollar. And for our members, we were in this trade to the long side and we have all we have taken profits on this position. Uh, we, we had a number of positions on and we our, our trailing stop has been hit and we have taken profits on on this position. OK, so that was a very nice trade for us. Now, where where is the us dollar likely to go let me let me see that we have the bottom here in the british pound and this head and shoulders bottom could still be in effect but our long-term supports are could be fibonacci retracement level at 152.49 and also we could see the market drop to the 150 level so that is where if the US dollar strength continues, we could see the British pound drop another four to 500 pips uh, versus the US dollar. And we could see the Euro, as I said earlier, drop from 110 to one to 105. We could definitely see a move like that in the Euro uh, versus the US dollar. Uh, taking a look at, at, at the, the, this Euro USD position, uh, we could see a pretty strong break to the downside uh, if this trend line is 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 broken because of this this consolidation has lasted a number of months now and traders will be watching to see if the market is able to break down uh, below that level so that's something definitely to look out for in this currency pair Taking a look at the Australian dollar, we're still playing with this uh, trend line and the market. Australian dollar is down on the day, but we, are, we have still not challenged again or tested again the 76, 75, 50 level. Uh, we did test it on uh, last week and the market bounced pretty nicely. But we're, we're, look, we're looking like it. we may have a retest uh, in this market. Uh, coming up now if 75 50 76 region is breached uh, we could definitely see the market move down uh, to the 74 to 72 level in the australian dollar and that's definitely something to look out for and with the australian dollar we look at gold and we see that gold is resuming its downtrend here and it looks like it wants to test this 1150 level in the gold market if we do test this 1150 i'm very interested to see if the market is able to bounce from this 1150 area or the market will continue to the downside as many 
are not expecting. Everybody, I read a lot of reports to say that gold is going to bounce and going, the uptrend is going to resume any minute now. Uh, but the market is definitely looking fairly bearish. And I'm really looking forward to see if this, this market, this area will hold. Remember, and that's why when we're trading, we look at charts and we analyze what the prices are doing. Too often folks get get caught up in the fundamentals of what's happening. If 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 the fundamentals are pushing a, a, a particular market a, a way, it will be reflected in the charts. And as trend traders and the, the trading philosophy that I I like to to practice is trend trading. As trend traders, you just follow the trend. So if the market is in a downtrend for those of you who took the one indicator course if a market is in a downtrend you should be looking for selling opportunities in that market if the market is in an uptrend you should be looking for buying opportunities seems pretty simple but you'll be surprised the number of traders that when the market is in a downtrend they are trying to pick the bottom of the market i have coaching clients that i that that i speak about uh, following the trend and it takes a while for some of them to 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 really get it that okay just really follow the trend in practice everybody says in theory follow the trend and they will recite it to you but when you say okay go out and trade now and put on some trades for yourself they are counter trend trading so it's very important to follow the trend especially if you are a swing trader and a position trader, it's, it's vital that you follow the prevailing trend. Okay, so where is the prevailing trend currently in the British pound, Australian dollar? The prevailing trend is to the upside. So as traders, we should be looking for buying opportunities in this market. Whether you are on the, 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 the four hour charts, the daily charts, even the 15 minutes charts, you you get better opportunities looking for buying buy signals rather than sell signals another market which direction this trend is in um, just this is a daily chart of usd versus the japanese yen we are in a broad uptrend so you'll find better trades following this the flow of this market and following the trend and we see that the market pulled back, the Japanese yen pull versus the US dollar pulled back to just the 50% retracement level of the move from 118.92 up to 126. And is looks like it's, it's, it wants to move back up uh, to the upside. So that is definitely in keeping with following the trend. When you follow trends, yes, you will have losing trades. I'm not saying no, you will have losing trades. But you are putting the odds in your favor uh, that your trades will work out and you will make money in the markets if you follow the trend. Take, for example, a casino. A casino knows that it will lose, but the casinos have it made that the odds are always in their favor. The odds in the long run are in the house's favor. And yes, you'll have folks come in and win money uh, from gambling and and may make huge amounts of money but in the long run the, the 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 odds are in the house's favor and the house will always win and if you practice trend trading and trading with the trend yes you will have you losing trades but you are putting the odds in your favor that if you follow proper risk management along with trading with the trend and taking profits at the correct time you will be profitable in the markets okay taking a look finally at the british pound versus the japanese yen this is a market that's also in an uptrend and we are still along this market we have been along this market from about the 180 182 region and and the market is still in an uptrend we have over a thousand pips to the positive side in this in this market alone and if the market comes down a bit more it will hit our trailing stop and will exit at a pretty 
good profit in this market. Okay, so the 1st of July 2015, if you want to start seeing profits and start putting the odds in your favor with your Forex trading, I urge you to click on the link below to start the signals because uh, six months from now, you could say, okay, I'm seeing some positive growth in my Forex trading and my Forex trading account. Here at Aces Trading, our primary, our primary thing that we do here really is, is, is ensuring that we send profitable signals to our traders and have traders make money in the market as opposed to just selling courses alone because it's one thing to sell, sell a course and do and speak about things in theory and it's another thing to actually go out and do it and demonstrate to members that it is being done that is very critical so we're not here about lip service we're here to put our methods into action that our members can see okay thank you very much uh, for listening if you like the signals click on the link below this video and i will see you tomorrow thanks